Dr. Green. Dr. Green. What is it? Patient for you, Dr. Green. Can't the intern take it? No, it's for you. What time is it? Five o'clock. <sighs> Can't the intern take it? It's Dr. Ross. Dr. Ross? I'll be right there. Got some up on four stops. Oh, got that ready. How it is? You must go and buy bus. Come on, Doug. Marky boy. Oh, did I wake you up? Yes, you did. Well, uh, <laughs> you are a real friend. I want you to know that. That's all right. Real friend. Yeah. yeah. Getting out of bed to me. Yeah. Room three is free. Room yeah. three is free. Three is free. Three is free. Free for three. Yeah. There we go. Come on, Doug. All right, I got you. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. All right. <laughs> Ow. Oh, man. Okay. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this, Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm a little under the weather. Yeah, here you go. Up. Okay. Hang on, hang on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> D5NS. I need the dextrose. Give him 600 of ASA. Aspirin. Almost forgot aspirin. So anyway, <laughs> she says to me, she says, I didn't know that pediatricians could be so sexy. And I said, honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> ah, I, <clears throat> all right, give me a fast trip. I need the hydration. Don't worry, Doug, just lie back. Ho, oh, oh. ho. How's your beautiful wife? How's Jennifer? She's fine, really. You two settle your problems? Yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. Hate to lose you in the ER, you know. Lie back. Yeah. Okay. Ah, can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Really do. Here's your aspirin. Give him 2,000 cc's in a fast drip. Keep an eye on it. Don't let it run dry. Does he always do this? Only on his nights off. I'm going to bed. Wake me at 6.30. Oh. Oh. Dr. Green? Dr. Green? Mark? What is it? Can I give Mrs. Williston more Demerol? She's complaining of pain. 50 milligrams, I am. Thanks, Mark. Dr. Green. What is it? 6.30, Dr. Green. Susan? 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 You have to get up. What time is it? It's a baby. A baby? In respiratory arrest. One-year-old found unresponsive in crib. Couldn't get an IV. What'd you find on arrival? No spontaneous rest. She signed on a fake note at 200. We scooped and ran. What happened? Just nothing. Has she been sick? No. Any medication? No. Any reason? No, nothing. Let's see if we can find a vein here. Go. Miguel, <laughs> forceps. Forceps.
An earring. <laughs> Hyperventilator. Blood sugar? 20. I'll need an 18-gauge spinal. I'll go in interfaces. Is she gonna be all right? I'll need dextrose. Is she gonna be okay? <laughs> Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> 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 Get a blood gas, chest, film, CBC, and film seven. It's gonna be fine. Yes, Mama. Are you all right? Just woke up early, that's all. Go back to bed. I'll wake you when I leave. You don't have to go today. I want to. If you're not ready, no one will mind. I know, but I am ready, Mama. It's all right. Don't worry. Go on, go back to bed. Mesenteric arteries. Who is it? The problem now, of course, is to simply hold your horses. To rush would be a crime. Cause nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it every time. Gotta teach you to his boss. Thanks. Sure. Have we, excuse me. Do Carol we... Hathaway. Right, I met you my first day. Oh, my last. Or so I thought. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Carol, welcome back. How are you? Great, thanks. You got a slow Monday for me? Like always. Take it down to four. Take it left here.
Carter. Oh, man, somebody get a drool bucket. Carter, get yeah. up, 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 up. Let's go. Where's your page? I've been beeping you for five minutes. Yes, sir. You take this and you keep it on your pillow. That way you don't sleep through a page. Now, come on, let's go. You've got patience to see. Carter, let's come go. In. Come on. We've got an unwashed and undomiciled male with a laceration to the forehead and two. Clean the wound and stitch him if need be. Whatever you do, please don't take off his shoes or his socks. God knows what you'll find. Your head's off. Coming through. This way, this way, this way. Come on. When you're finished with him, see a little old lady with leg pain and six. Got it? Yeah, you ever get used to this? Used to what? Um, three hours sleep. Anything more than three hours, and I'm sluggish all day. Charts right there. What? That was a big day off. Uh, the first two hours was great. And Rachel and Jen left for Detroit for five What's days. What's that all about? Job interview. Oh, really? Don't even start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Morning, guys. Susan, Morning. can you work Thursday night? I am on Thursday night. It's tough. Wife so far away. Other more immediate temptations, so close. You have the faintest idea what you're talking about. I know about. exactly what I'm talking about. Doug. Hey. I need you in three. And good morning to you, Nurse Hathaway. Good morning. <laughs> no, the price breaks on the photocopier start with five unit orders. You off in a jiff. Tell you what, Sam. If you're free to sit down this afternoon, say around three, I'd like to lay out a package that covers your phone, fax, email needs as well. All right, tomorrow then. Sam, have I told you about our all-inclusive five-year service plan? Okay, in broad strokes, we guarantee every pinion, spindle, sprocket for the life of the machine, including unlimited service for the first five years. Mm, it started last week. People would speak to Ozzy, but he wouldn't respond. I thought maybe something was wrong with his hearing. Mm -hmm. Ozzy, can you hear me? You wouldn't stick things in your ears, would you? That's good, because, you know, my mom told me that you never put anything in your ear smaller than your elbow. Ozzy, can you hear me whispering? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, Mr. Schaff, um, there's no sign of infection and no injury, and right now, Ozzy's hearing seems to be fine. Yeah, that's what's so frustrating. I mean, he does hear some things, but he doesn't hear others. What are some of the things that he doesn't hear? Mm, like my mother's voice, for one. She says really terrible, terrible things. She thinks that I'm a bad mother. And your mother lives with you? No, 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 she's dead. Uh, but you still hear her? Mm-hmm. What are some of the other voices that Ozzy can't hear? My ex-husband's, the ice cream man's, Diana. Uh, Diana? The Princess of Wales? Does that ring a bell? We, can you excuse us just for a second? Mm -hmm. Call Psych Services, tell me we need a console. Get social services down here for the boy. Leave the door open until he gets here. Okay. Hey. Doctor? Yeah, what's up? Get up. He and my mom. We can stay together, right? You bet you can. Did you leave the money there? Oh, that's what you sound like! Done. Done. Come on, up and at him. We're busy. Wait, I'm on double shift. Yeah, so am I. And you wanted a long weekend. I'll get up. I was having a terrific dream. I was beating my high school football coach to a pulp. Carter, med students, don't sleep at four in the afternoon. Get up, Carter. <clears throat> a woman in three with a headache. She thinks it's a brain tumor. A little kid in five with chewing gum in his eye. And there's an old lady in four. She just wants her hand held. Really hungry. Cookies at the desk. Oh, repeat H&H. &H, ordered for abdominal pain in two. Good morning, Susan. Oh, it's afternoon, Doug. You knew that? Your brain's rotted. At your age, Ryan Sandberg retired. My age, Mozart was dead. Jen, 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 I can't get out. I've got two residents on double shifts. I'll be home before Rachel goes to bed. Tell Mark to go see his wife. Go see your wife. Why can't you tell me over the phone? Hey, hey Jen, hang on. Jen? Hey, it's Doug. Can you hold on a second? We can survive for that. I'll meet you there. All right? Bye. Thank you. I know you can survive without me. <laughs> Rescue 51's bringing in two victims, motor vehicle collision, one major, one minor. How soon? Now. 
Where's Benton? Oh, look, I guess travel agent. Ask his student. Read books of diseases, you start thinking you have them. Find Benton, head on vehicle, two victims on the way. TC, seven months old B, vital stable. Second victim right behind her. Hey, man. Sally, Sally, Niemeyer. How far along are you, Ms. Niemeyer? Seven, almost seven months. Okay. Second one coming in. Chest trauma. Vital stable. Turn back in the Name Suarez. Gangbang. Stole a car. Hit the pregnant lady. You get it. Ms. Suarez, is there any pain? No. All right, come on. Party two, let's go. Oh, my chest. All right. Type cross and hold four units, hook her up to a fetal monitor. Now, please. Your baby has a nice, steady heart rate. I'm gonna have a boy. The KB call OB for an ultrasound. Does this hurt? No. Okay, do you have any pain in your head? No. That that girl, she just ran right into me, didn't even stop. Push down with your hand, okay. like that. Push against it. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now push down on your foot, like on a gas pedal. Okay, you're doing great. Right, gently. Oh, oh. oh! What? You're in labor. Two centimeters dilated, 40% effaced. Can somebody call my husband? 28 weeks, that's too early. You want to okay. stop labor now? I want to buy some time for the kid's lungs. What if it's 34 weeks and the baby's fine? Well, it doesn't feel like 34 weeks anymore. We need ultrasound. I don't know. It's too early. We gotta try. Is my baby gonna be okay? Okay, I, let's try and stop uh, labor. Bolus are six grams, magnesium sulfate. Get a feed along profile. Where the hell is OB? Is my baby okay? I'm telling you. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus, are you deaf? Too loud am I. I'm moving to five. What the hell is going on? Mercy's close to trauma, and Lakeside's power is out. That makes us it. Hi. Hi. Jen went to Milwaukee to find an apartment. Why is it so hot in here? Air conditioning's out. Oh, great. Hottest day in October. This is your day off. Hi, Ray. Hey. Hi. Tommy missed his plane coming back from his brother's wedding. Joys of being chief president. Dr. Ross, there's a five-year-old with some kind of heart problem in trauma one. Okay. Bye, Rach. Bye. Here. Our babysitter's not going to be here for a couple hours. Is there anybody who can watch Rachel? Uh, Joanna's off in 10. What are all those wires sticking in? Oh, that's so we can give him medicine to make him better. Is he sick? Actually, he's... Uh... What's he doing out here? I don't know. Paramedics brought him in DOA from some nursing home. The heat got him. The city's supposed to come pick him up. Come on, Rachel. I'll show you where the TV is, okay? All right, let's go. Hey, All I right. thought Tommy was back today. Yeah, well, he's supposed to be. Mark, uh, Doug needs you in one. Well, but I gotta take Rachel into the lab. Yeah, I got her. Come on, Rach. I'm not even Let's changed. see what's in the fridge, huh? <laughs> what do you got, Doug? Okay, Mark, we have a five-year-old with known coarctation of the aorta. She had a sudden onset of severe respiratory distress about an hour ago. Are you worried about congestive heart failure? Yeah, the rest was 40. The BP is 180 over 100. She's tachycardic. The rate is 180. Mm -hmm. Did you get blood gases? Mm -hmm. Chest film? Yeah. Yeah, radio. Mid systolic murmur. Hand me the pulse back. Bullets are with 20 milligrams of Lysix. 
What's her name? Kanisha. Hi, Kanisha. I'm Dr. Green. You know, I have a daughter your age, and she came with me to work today. When you're feeling better, how about I bring her in here and she can meet you, okay? Okay. Get a cardiologist down here. I'm gonna go check on Rachel. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Indian summer. Gets this hot, people just sort of lose their heads. Supposed to be 102 today. Dr. Green. Uh, Pete's delivery guy got stabbed. He's driving himself in. Yeah, how soon? Only a couple blocks away. Where's Ben? Jerry. <laughs> Somebody order a pizza? Oh, oh, what a day. ER. Yes, I know they're late, but I can't. Okay, okay, I'm on my way. They're on their way up. Uh... This is an ER. This is Patrick. You habla espanol? Okay, bye bye. Are you the new desk clerk? Si, señorita. Yeah, right. Um, who are you? Patrick. Okay, Patrick, where is everybody? My dad went to the bathroom. All right, um, look, you need to go sit over here because you can't sit here. Patrick. Patrick, don't turn. Don't turn. Hi, this is John Carter. I'm calling about your ad in the paper about the one-bedroom apartment. Can I need to eat? I'm sorry? Perfect. It's been taken. Okay, thank you. Starved. Mr. Carter? Oh, okay. great. Where did you come from? Tagliari. Brought him in for Carol Hathaway, I think. There's a woman in the suture room who needs stitches in her face. The plastic surgery boys are there already. Why don't you go in and back clean up? Give her a really good scar. Just kidding. Peter, EMT is at the back door for 20-year-old stabbing victim. Doesn't sound good. All right. Notify the OR. Call the blood bank. Tell them I need eight units o neg now. You still doing the total gastrectomy this afternoon? I can't. I've got an interview with Morgan Stern and Bradley. Stars of Fellowship? Yep. Huh. What? Nothing. Did Langworthy tell you that only 30 residents get it? Exactly. Yeah, well, in her dream. Go get Morgan, sir. Tell them to meet me at Trauma too. What do we got? Taboos to the neck. Hold this 115 ready. Meet piece 50 pal. Uh-huh, what else? Couldn't prove him too much blood. And he's about to code. This guy's circling the drain. You know, come on, this is what I love about you. You're all optimism. All right, let's take the turn. Here we go. Let's get him down here. Get him at Trauma too. Let's move it, people. Let's not lose him, all right? Here we go. Follow me. That's me. Come on. Alright, unstrap him. Don't need it. Wanna do this like we always do. I know what you're gonna turn your money to make money. Listen, we wanna do it on my power. One, two, three. Alright, let's go to work. Post ox. It's only 70 and he's cyanotic. Alright, let's go. Here we are. No airway. Intubation tray. Move. Seven and a half? Yes. Come on. I can't see anything in here. Suction. Come on. I need some suction. Let's get it in here. There we go. All right, we got to pull out Gusher here. One more minute, he's going to have brain damage. Let's do a crank. Sure. The day is long. Let's move. Doing a surgical airway here. 
All right, now give me the number, count it out nice and loud, all right? BP, still 60 over 40, pulse 160. All right, tray two. Thank you, though. Syringe, come on, man. Here. Uh huh. I like the way it sounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have ourselves a breather here. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. Can you ventilate him? Good morning, Peter. Breathe and easy. What have you got? Uh, stab wound to the neck. Unable to intubate due to bleeding. Performed a stack cricothyrotomy. Airway established, good bilateral breath sounds, and the patient is stable. What do you need me for? Let's get him up to the OR. Peter, excellent. Excellent work. Sound judgment, a solid execution. Excellent. So I'll see you at the Starzl interview this afternoon. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, God. Oh, no. Something wrong? All right, people, who ate my salad? Keep looking, Peter. It's there. Yeah. Damn it, it's not in here. The ignition shot. <sighs> Somebody took it. No, I need someone to fix it today. Thank you. Uh, I think I'll shove my sister in front of a train. She burned out your ignition switch? Yeah, I had to hotwire it to get to work. Do you know how to hotwire a car? Learned it from one of Chloe's boyfriends. He's in Joliet. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, God. We got a rollerblader coming in. Bashed head again. Five minutes off. This place is a mess, man. Doesn't anybody ever clean it out? Jerry? Jerry. Don't turf me a patient without a chart. I'm sorry, I thought I... Don't apologize, just do your damn job. Ignore him. More charts, that's great. Be more exciting, I'll check myself in. Dr. Ross, yeah. Rescue 61's bringing a woman with severe head trauma. All the neurosurgeons are tied up in the OR. Divert the woman to St. Luke. So, uh, who died and left you chief resident, huh? Mark's got the flu, I'm covering. Whoa, 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 St. Mark is out? Must be pneumonia. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hiya, Peter. Sarah. You too excited? Announcements today. I know how to read a calendar, Halle. What announcements? Starzl Fellowship. Maybe you notice Dr. Benton's a little anxious. Dr. Ross, they needed your double D-5 upstairs 20 minutes ago. I will send them four pints of my blood. What is a DD-5? It's a shift status report. You're supposed to fill it out. I th I, how does Mark do all of this? He puts in four hours after every shift. I'll tell you, Jerry, I will do anything to get him down here. I'll put him on a drip. I'll give him my next four paychecks. I don't care how sick he is. <laughs> Club. Don't answer. Might be right. Craig. Who's Craig? Just from Clint's other clerk. Yeah? Call him back. Hello? 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 What the hell? She called you from the street? 35th over in Bridgeport. Mark? Look, are you certified or we need to call in a counselor? I'm certified. Did she say anything? Yeah, not to touch you. Jamie? I'm Carol Hathaway, I'm a nurse. Can I take your coat? It's kind of warm in here. There you go. Todd knows my boyfriend. He said Jack told him to pick me up. I shouldn't have gone with them. I should have stayed home. But he was a friend of Jack's. I let it happen. It was my fault. It's okay. You're safe here. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Is it?
processional negative thoughts about work. The, uh, the hours, ludicrous staff meetings, the stink of the halls, and the patients. The patients. You find yourself searching for ways not to hate them. You know, little tricks like, um, she shares a birthday with your mother, or he looks like the brother of a friend. It doesn't work. You feel nothing. Every drop of pleasure has drained from your life. You can't sleep, you can't think, you can't concentrate. You Trouble sleeping? Uh, uh, I was just catching up on some work. I worry you're not getting enough sleep. Are you okay? Fine. What are you working on? Um, patient history. Tev? Listen to you. Go back to bed, okay? It's late. Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Ha! Ha 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 ha! Bells on Bob tails ring Still 17 shopping days left till Christmas. Ah, slow day? Not a single patient. Do answer the phone. I thought you were going home. We are. My car's snorted. I'm stuck. Nurse Cole, you know that blue flu that the cops get sick with? She thinks she caught it. <laughs> Bob. Bob, why don't you relax? It's just going to get dirty again. Or the reason more to keep the foot up on it? Leg. Leg up on it. <laughs> Leg. You want to help put up the Christmas ornaments instead? Ornaments? Mm -hmm. 
He's kind of cute. Really? Yeah, he's got beautiful eyes, thick hair. It's a low blow. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, we're just taking inventory. Gurney number A7403. You can go back to sleep. National Weather Service says this could turn into the biggest snowstorm since January of 1967 when 23 inches fell in 28 hours. The last half hour alone brought us more than a half an inch. What of happened to the security camera? Mike, Somebody stole it. Are you, are, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay. okay. Everybody. Jerry, how does this work? Uh, it's really pretty simple. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got, I got it. Okay. okay. All right, come on. Just come here. Dr. Carter, stat, trauma one. Dr. Carter, stat, trauma one. <laughs> Very funny. Santa, Mr. Claus, wake up. Santa, you okay? Santa. I must have dozed off. I woke up feeling a little dizzy. Must be those double shifts. <laughs> Come on back, we'll check you out. Oh. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. Kids will be lined up for blocks. I, I gotta go. Oh, I think you ought to see a doctor first. No, I'm already late. At least let me check your pressure, okay? You taking any medication? Um, I, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, thanks, young man. Thanks anyway. What? Okay, I've got skates for Rachel. That's easy, but I never know what to get Jen. And there's six shopping hours left till Christmas. I can't believe I'm waiting to the last minute. I gotta make up for last like year. Take What'd you get her? Dustbuster. Ow. Hey, get her a broom. It's cheaper. I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> okay, go to Fields. Fill me in on your patients. I'll cover for you. You sure? Yeah, just be back in an hour. Can I borrow your car? Chloe has it. Green. Freeman, Zinberg, and Wu are waiting to be discharged. Sounds like an international law firm. Here. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, be careful going in here. So, Gene is busy hallucinating. Mr. O'Neill, he opened up his hand along with a can of mixed nuts. Incoming head trauma on the chopper. Okay. Susan, take over from me. Uh, oh, Susan, sure. uh, there's an electrical burn in one, a weak and dizzy all over in two. Uh -huh. And torn cartilage waiting in three. Ah, Dr. Ah, Lewis, she... from your secret Santa. Oh, you know, uh, okay. Susan, you probably left here with an LP. You need Graham oh, that for me. All right. There, thanks. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, Dr. Green. Fudge? Ooh, you're spoiling me, Jerry. <laughs> help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! My son's dying! I'm, I'm a doctor. Give me your Come on, I got him. I got him. He fell in the lake. Yeah? Please help him. Uh-huh. Murray! Murray! Near drowning. Murray! Kids frozen. Trauma one. Die high. It's all my fault. Lori, don't die. Please. Please don't. So you're going to back up, sir. Back. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. You've got to come with me. Sir, you're going to have to wait back here. You're going to have to wait back here. I have to stay right here. Wait. He's not breathing. Start pulmonary suction. Lorenzo, just go. Five and a half ET2. Yeah, perfect. All right. Come on, little guy. Tubes in. Suck the water out of them, then bag them. Connie, pull on blood studies, coag panel, and chest film. What happened? I took him ice fishing. Murray ran ahead and fell in. How long was he under? How long? I don't know. But bag him. Five minutes, maybe. I couldn't find him. BP 30 pal pulse is weak. He's bradycardic. Heart rate's 32. What's his temp? 80. Warm him up or we're going to lose him. Grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the time. <laughs> God, don't take my little boy. Please don't take my son.
Who's in? Dr. Green. That's Green. There's a guy in the street, gunshot wounds, I think. There's blood everywhere. Hey, you heard the doctor. Here we go. We got a GSW. It's on in the street. We're gonna need some hands out there. Better trauma one. Patient's gonna strangle on Christmas lights. Let's get a move on. Yeah, he's still breathing. I got a pulse. We gotta get him out of here. Oh. Just lift him up. Oh. Oh. All right, oh. all right. Easy, watch his head. Oh, Joey, got him. Oh. 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 Bag him. Connie, oh. notify the OR. Get Benton in here in order of eight units of O negative. Bob, call security. We got a gangbanger here. Gangbanger? Dial 432 and say help. The winner, I wish they dumped the bodies inside. Yeah, pretty inconsiderate of them. Trauma 2, call the blood bank. We need eight units of O-neg down here, and I need a page on Benton now. Senator, large four IVs. Okay, I got that. Get his clothes off. Yeah. Give me that four Eric, can you grab that? Yeah. Abdomen, chest, neck, legs. Pulse 116, Freddy. Increased breath sounds, hyperresonant on the right. I'll decompress. 14 gauge. Ooh, get your yeah. souvenirs here. I'll get it out of here. Right. Let's intubate them. Carter, why don't you jump in here? Me? 7.5? You've seen about 50 of these by now, right? OK. Advance the blade to the epiglottis and then left. I can't see a thing in here. Yeah, I'll suction. Okay. Visualize the vocal cords and pass the tube through them. Stay away from that esophagus. Good. I got it. Good. Nice work, Carter. OR is waiting. What do we got? Tubes in, let's go. Multiple gunshot wounds to the neck, chest, abdomen, and legs. Intubated, tension pneumo on the right, gave two liters of saline, needs a thoracotomy and a laparotomy. Cool, clear that elevator. Dr. Benton, I'd like to follow him through the OR. You're going to be enough bodies swarming around there. Still haven't been in there yet. I'll take him from here. Dr. Benton, I'm the one who found him in the street. Yeah, well, you probably saved his life. Let's go. Good morning. I wouldn't go that far. You're not allowed to be crabby. You were off yesterday. I got a call from Morgan Stern about Vannerbeck. And am I the crump? Case and claims I presented the case incompetently. Morgan Stern wants me in his office in an hour. I want to throw up. Yeah, well, Kaysen's just trying to cover his ass. Morgan Stern knows that. Hey, maybe I'll get lucky. Kaysen will fall in front of a bus Six on his way on the in. Morning, Dr. Green. Morning. Carol, you seen Carter? Took a DB to four pathologies backed up. Yeah, well, what else is new? Sorry, excuse me. Dr. Benton? Carter! Carter! What are you doing? I'm sleeping. Okay, well, you sleep when I tell you to sleep. Now, come on, get up. I got a new student I need you to break in. Yo! Yo! Come here. What's your name? Deb. Yeah, right. Well, this is Carter. He's going to show you around. All right. She's all yours. Uh, Dr. Benton, you're not going up to the... Yes, I am. No, you can't. I've got wall-to-wall -wall surgeries with the prima donna from Boston. Last thing I need to do is babysit you. Is he really dead? Five bucks gets you Super Lotto and Instapick. Timmy. Baz. Carol. Oh, why not? Morning, gang. Timmy, what do we got? 
Our specials for today are suicidal junkie in four. Going once. I'll take it. I could use a little cheering up. Hamster versus finger in the suture room. Ross took it. HIV positive kid with a busted tooth in one. Lots of blood. What's an LL alley? That's the scissors in the left leg. It's a medical term. Valdo's back, stinky as ever. Oh, man. He's drunk, possible seizure. I could use a hand. Double glove time. So is this the perp? His name is Royden B. I thought you might want to check him for rabies. Oh, uh, well, the only way that Royden B could have rabies is if he's been bitten by a wild animal. And given his lifestyle, that's pretty unlikely. The finger's infected. It's probably because Lucy's been sucking on it. But we'll clean it up. We'll give her some antibiotics. And then your daughter is going to be good as new. Niece. Niece, sorry. There's a family resemblance. You go to the Fifth Street gym, don't you? No, I've never been. Hmm, my mistake. But you work out, though. I can tell. Excuse me. Uh, well, you know, I, um, play a little basketball now and then. Bulls fan? Yeah, I'm a Bulls fan. I have a friend who can get tickets courtside. That is, if you're interested. You know, I have tickets, so maybe I'll just see you there. Care for a drink? After you. So you get away for the weekend? Yeah. Tag and I rented a cottage in Door County right on the lake. Went ice fishing. That was a highlight. The one I can tell you about. Have you guys set a date yet? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I mean, what's the big rush? Sorry I asked. No, it's just I feel like I've finally gotten my life in order, and now it's all shaken up again. You having doubts? Well, it's a big step. I mean, it's natural to have some doubts, right? Maybe it's the forever part. You know, it's like infinity. It's hard to get a handle. Ah, what? Oh. Are sluggish. Oh, Ophthalmoscope. She's out. Respiratory arrest. All right. Green ET tube 7.0. I'll take that. Ms. Warren. Kathleen, can you hear me? All right, let's give her 500 cc normal saline. There we go. It's in. Let's bag her. Hyperventilate. Let's blow off the CO2. All right, dog. Let me give you a hand. A 36-year-old female fell off a ladder, BP 70 over 50, pulses 45, possible bleeding in the brain, GCS 6. The hematomas of the left lower quadrant, got lacerations of the upper right quadrant and a left thigh, contusions on her back. Uh, she fell off the ladder and got this banged up. What'd she do, bounce? Uh-oh, is he papal edema? All right, she's in trouble. The corticates. Head CT. Let's lavage first. Her abdomen's rigid. Terry, call the OR. Give a neurosurgeon now. Give a now. lavage kit. Not getting any sound down here. Let's get a chest and KUV too. Hey. Hey guys, come over here. Come on. I'm almost gonna be okay, right? We hope so. Is your dad coming? Yeah, I tried to call him. What happened to your hand? I heard it when my mom fell off the ladder. Well, we've gotta get you cleaned up. Come on. Carter. Exhausted. Good morning, Carter. Good morning. You uh, shooting for high honors on your ER presentation? I was up all night. It's really hard putting surgical procedures down on paper. Can I have Dr. Benton's charts, please? His patients have already been checked. Deb, been here an hour. All right, well, I'll go get their labs. Deb sent them. Breakfast orders? Gone to the kitchen. Oh, John, boy, am I glad you're here. Jerry, thank you. I've done a census of all six-month-olds with fever in the past year. I want to develop a protocol. Can you help? You checked Dr. Benton's patients. Now, no, don't be upset. You've been here a while. Everybody likes you. I want to make a good impression. Carter, the girl in two, could you stitch her up for me? Sure. 
Let's go. This isn't a Sunday show, people. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Mrs. Horn's chart. She's been here three times in the last six months. Mm -hmm. She broke her arm falling down the stairs, but no bruises. Orbital fracture, walking into a door. Okay. I'm Andy. I'm Dr. Ross. Dr. Carter, will you let me finish up here? Just about to bandage it up. Let me do this, if you will. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Here you go. Hi. Is my mom going to be okay? Well, we don't know yet. Hey, what's your name, buddy? David. Isn't David? Well, come over here. Okay, you guys, look. Your mom got hurt pretty bad today, and it could be a while before she comes home. How long? Well, we don't know yet. You want to tell me who's been hitting your mom for the last six months? Andy? Mom can't take a whole lot more of this. David? So somebody else staying at the house, see if we know. Then we can get your mom some help. We can find a safe place for you to stay. Things will get better for all of you. I promise that. No? Okay, well, I'll be back when I know more about your mom. It was Mandy. Shut up, David. It was Mandy. I told you to shut up! Hey. Just because you didn't like her dress! You shut up or I'll kill you! Billy, really, not liar. this time! It's the truth! It, I did it, he's stop lying! It, all right, she hit with my back. She hits her lot all the time. I did it, she fell off the left. She, she fell down! When can my mom go home? 